This is how you make perfect egg fried rice. Look at that setup, man. That is badass. That is nice. You don't have much wok experience, no. right? So I can tell you right now, this setup, the size of the wok he's using, uh, that's pretty badass. Dude knows how to make fried rice. I'm gonna call it now. <laughs> What gave, I'm gonna call what gave it, it away? <laughs> um, you tell us. Is that MSG? Yeah, yes, baby. Oh. baby. Do hey, I you... make you horny, baby? <laughs> Ooh, yeah! yeah. Oh. Chef Brian Tsao here, not your typical chef, owner of Mission Sandwich Social located in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, winner of Beat Bobby Flay season one, and today I'm gonna be reacting to Uncle Roger Amazed by Perfect Egg Fried Rice, Chef Wang Gong, with your favorite guest, Chef Paul Frenchy the Animal. Dynamia. Before I go on with today's episode, I do want to give a special shout out to my amazing patron, Luminita Elena Christescu. Yes, that's one person. Thank you so much for your support. You, along with all the patrons, really do make a difference on this channel. And with that out of the way, on to the reaction. Chef Paul Frenchy, Dan Amiel, welcome back to Pro Chef Reacts. It's good to be back. How are you, buddy? Grumpy. Grumpy. I think I figured it out. What? When we have these chef's jackets on. You just get angrier. I go back to my <laughs> old self. It just, behind, it just amplifies the It just the anger. amplifies my angriness. And I, I just, I just, I swear to God, I think that's it. We need to go back to the tracksuits. Okay, back to tracksuits. Yeah. Okay, next episode, we'll go to tracksuits. Yeah. We'll, okay. we'll keep these for like events or something. And, and underneath, we'll have like secret identities. <laughs> Okay. Do you ever see me? Do you ever see the pictures at the food shows and like the burger bash and everything? No, no, no. I haven't seen oh, them. Oh, when I get on stage, every time I want, I pop over in the chef jacket. I once I had Krusty the Clown doing the burgers, and I had like all sorts of eat my meat, or <laughs> I had like all sorts of nice teeth. Very Frenchy yeah. thing to do. Yeah, right, I am Frenchy. French. I have, I have, I've been exposing you to many tragic fried, egg fried rice yes. videos. Another one. Another one. We are doing another egg fried rice video. Yes, we are People going. People are going to think I have no skills. No, and no, that no. All we know how to do is that fry, is comment no, on egg fried rice. We're sticking with the little theme right now. That's all. That's all. Is it a seasonal? I guess so. I guess it's the season of egg fried rice. But today it's not a train wreck. Today we're watching a master yes. do their work. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to show you one of the best egg fried rice. How it should be done. I have ever seen on YouTube. One of the best egg fried rices I've ever seen on YouTube. And I'm gonna and yes, learn something new. You're gonna see how it should be done. Okay. All right, you ready for this, yes, bud? I'm ready. All right, cool. I think British chef need to learn from him. No fancy studio kitchen. No Christmas Uncle Roger, like again. this. Is how you make perfect egg fried rice. So, so he's had to, so he's had to like compensate too. He's like, okay guys, this is how we do it. <laughs> yeah, more or less. <laughs> Let me see. So who's doing it? Today, we're going to review Chef Wang, a.k.a. Wang Gang, home style. Okay, dude, fried dude knows how to make fried rice. <laughs> I'm going to call it now. <laughs> what gave, I'm going to call it, it away? <laughs> um, you tell us. Chef Wang dude, that is knife famous alone, bro. Chinese chef. His video will be in Mandarin, but Uncle Roger, good uncle, will put subtitle for you. Don't be pussy. Learn to read. Leftover there we cold go. rice for fire rice. Good start. Uncle Roger liked this video already. First of all, his chef coat is better than yours. Yeah, that's nice. Your chef coat is better than mine. His chef coat got yeah, both he's, of us. He's beat. trumped us. Yeah. Cooking for his uncle. But you don't even need to tell me this is. But you know uncle. that uncle is still supervising, making sure <laughs> that that mother is gonna do it right. <laughs> and you know, even he's gonna fucking complain at the end. <laughs> I don't care how good that fried rice, that guy. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at him. The, that Asian father, that that, that look he, of disappointment. <laughs> I said this in my last reaction to this video, which was without you. But doesn't he look? You ever seen Kung Fu Hustle? Yeah. Doesn't he look like the bad guy at the end? That is him! <laughs> Chinese uncle. Uncle Roger like his fashion. Where Baby on the Asian continent are we? Like this is him. China. Hmm. Okay, if this video get 100,000 like, Uncle Roger will wear orange sleeveless shirt just like Chef Wang uncle. So niece and nephew, do it. Hit like now. And hey, how about you hit that thumbs up button if you're not already subscribed, and if you want to be extra nights, consider becoming a patron. Egg good. Chili good. Nice. Nice. 
See? Yeah, no cinema, no drama. He's just all crack. But also, he's cracking it on, on a the flat side. surface, right? One handed. There's no, there's no like melodramatics. Yeah. We, yeah, it's it's natural. Cracking technique, so smooth. Tap, crack, and throw all in one fluid motion. Yeah. Chef Wang have more talent in one hand than Jamie Oliver have in his whole body. <laughs> <laughs> and his uncle just standing there looking. This is the type of uncle, like you said, that directs things and complains. Yes. But also, like, doesn't add much. No. You know, and he's not going to crack a smile, is he? Or will he? Or will he? Not impressed at all. Typical Asian uncle. Mm, it's chopping quite smooth also. Ah! That another Asian uncle behavior. There Asian you go. I, like, I called it. Oh, so I called it. Competitive about he's not, spice. He's not eating. happy. He always try to be better at eating spice than other people. That why he say this not spicy. Chopping good again. I like oh. this Chef Wang guy. He's saying to his uncle, in hotel, if I make this, I make this dish pity. But now I cooking at home, I don't give <laughs> You should be grateful for whatever I make you. This Chef Wang so sassy. And Uncle Roger just noticed why his uncle <laughs> like- oh! Are you- You literally- Dude. Well, I have reacted to this before, but I did notice that early in the video and I did mention it. Okay. So. <laughs> Uncle ah. Roger excited because they gonna cook in outdoor kitchen. Fuyo! Niece and nephew, Uncle Roger explained this before. But yeah. in Asia, we have two kitchen. Indoor kitchen and outdoor kitchen. Indoor kitchen just for show, useless. We exactly. used to chop melon and make cereal. Outdoor kitchen is where the magic happened. Fuyo! Because yeah, outdoor it, it kitchen, you can make as though. big- Why do you want all, this, the, all the vapors from the oil and the smoke in your house? And it stinks up your place and for it's, ages. And it sticks. It's like people who smoke in their, in their house and they got the cigarette stains everywhere. Ugh. Look at that setup, man. That is bad. That is nice. You don't have much walk experience, no. right? Well, so I can tell you right now, this setup, the size of the walk he's using, uh, that's pretty badass that he's using that. Typically, the walk is, I would say, about like 15, 16 inches. And he's um, got maneuverability with his, that hand. He knows. He does. But those walks are smaller and have a long handle that sticks out. And that's the most common walk. And typically, every walk station has two walks. There's the main walk you use for the sauteing. But there's another walk for either steaming, boiling, and or frying. Usually frying. There's a little pool of oil in there and they'll fry the protein in there and then transfer it over into right. the main wok. This guy has got one big wok, not very common, but you can see how fluid he is with it. He's used to not f***ing up. Yeah. Okay, he's seasoning, seasoning the, the wok, coating it with oil. Yeah, that's... Now fresh Heat oil go in. fresh oil, yep. Good. Yeah, egg egg ah, <laughs> I'm happy. Yes. Oh, Whoa! look at it, he's happy too! <laughs> yeah, this yeah, that's the good stuff. This the only time I see Chef Wang Uncle no, smiling. No, yeah, he's happy. Apparently seeing people fry eggs. Look at how proud of himself he is here. This guy's got, a, I think I said this the last time, this guy's got amazing posture. Yeah. Right? Like, he's just confident, rock solid. Yeah, but that that's... Chinese schooling, man, it's very disciplined, you know? Uh, uh, come on, no? Uh, no, no, not necessarily. Or maybe in the upper echelons? <laughs> the, 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 this, this guy's got it going on. I want to tell you about my mailing list that I've just started so you can keep up with all things Chef Brian Tsao. You get updates on the latest and greatest, but more importantly, generally, it's a sneak peek of what's to come that I don't plug right away on the channel. For example, those on the mailing list got to know about my new channel, Chef Brian Tsao Raw, first. Plus, you'll get exclusive offers like maybe some upcoming collab merch with maybe somebody named Frenchie. Most importantly, your data is safe. It is not being used for anything else except for updates about this channel and what I got going on. Be sure to visit the link in the description below and sign up to the mailing list today. Dude, yes. Look at that. Yes, Wee because that egg that now, egg flips. it's got a sear on it, it's got flavor. Yeah. Everything else we've seen so far is just 
scrambled eggs. Right, it's like right. But also cooking the egg like that in the beginning, yes, it'll in theory be like overcooked by the end product, but it's for egg fried rice. Yes. So you have a nice separation of texture and between egg and rice. And you're getting a lot more flavor out of that egg the way he's doing it. This is like the opposite of like a French omelet where you can't have a speck of like brown or anything. It's gotta be, it can't be tainted or anything. Like that. And, and in Asia, it's usually, it's it's more normal to see eggs very well done. So smooth. So Let's watch again. Let's watch again. Yeah. Oh. yeah. This guy makes this his egg look place. like it's dancing. Put the egg in first. It's still going. He did not take the egg out of nope. the pan. And now he's adding in the vegetable. And red chili go in. Saves Good. the scallion aside. Yep. And you see how much there is there. Right. And now everything's ready. Good to go, right? He prepped his vegetables first. He cracked his eggs first. He had the Dale rice. Everything was set aside. He had his mise en place mm -hmm. ready to go. He's putting it together in one fluid motion. He wasn't like B the BBC fried and rice. That's why it's quick. That's why it's quick. But in the BBC fried rice video, uh, he was doing one. Let part, me show you how I the rice. This an egg. Yeah. Would you say that the ingredient uh, is um? It's 50-50, the amount of rice and the ingredients? No, no, no. I would say it's like a quarter. You think so? Quarter, like, you know, so it's three parts rice to one part. Okay. Or four parts rice to one part. Just depends. Always more rice, right? Always more rice. Okay. You can put more stuff in it, but I also think putting too much stuff in it takes away from the rice because you still want it to be fried rice. Yes. Fuyo, Look at that. Look at that. Also, oh, actually, let's... Pausing. Okay. So... You see, he's smashing it down with the bottom side of the spoon. That is very common. And this only works with cold rice or cooled rice because you're breaking up the clusters of rice to get the individual pieces so the oil coats everything evenly. Remember when we did the Uncle Roger epic fried rice, the move, the Thai movie that we yes. reacted to, and we saw the guy yes. with, the, with the saute pan, yep. and he was cutting he was into put, the rice. Was, yeah. But also he used fresh rice and that doesn't work in that case because it's already soft it's going to start to glue together and that's what makes it mushy i forgot that we saw that movie this is not a movie this is real no this is real this is real this guy is super legit look, and look at the wok hay on that rice yeah the breath of the wok the char mm -hmm. the intense Shh. color the smokiness you, you can tell just by the shade the, the color the the color of the rice had completely changed you can only get that in a super high power. Almost need wall. like a microphone right up under there because you could hear that too. It almost sounds like um, popcorn popping. Yes. You know, very close to it. Not not as intense, but very similar. Oh, <gasps> yes. Is that, we is seasoning. Is that what I think it is? And we're not going light on it. No. Is that MSG? Yeah, yes, baby. Yes, baby. Do hey, I you... make you horny, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Have you ever made French onion soup with MSG? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we will not be telling my customers because the people, uneducated people, do not know. No, they have no idea. And MSG is a naturally occurring. I love MSG. Brand. Love MSG. French food and MSG. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And soy sauce go in. Okay, okay. watch, watch what he's gonna do here, Paul. He's not gonna actually put the soy sauce on the rice. It's gonna on the on, on the, the curve. On the this facilitates in reducing the moisture content because you don't want moist fried rice and he, as soon as he does that he flips it again and catches that he's soy sauce. basically in one motion right. gonna sear off the soy sauce so it reduces and it's gonna blend into the rice yeah and then the Form flipping action the rice just slides on the side of the wall spring onion as garnish oh and that last Everything crunch correct oh is that uncle roger's sea chicken in the Background. Ah! I like his uncle house. Got chicken on floor you can use for cooking. And got bamboo stick back there used for beating nephew. Everything you need Everything is on the is ground. Everything is there, bro. Yes. Oh, Ooh, look yes. so nice. Yes. And it's fresh. And you got all those textures in it. Right. And look at his technique as he's putting the rice into the water. Putting it spoon. into this. Yeah. Look at that. You know the expression like if... Muhammad can't go to the mountain, the mountain should come to Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Well, he's basic, basically making the rice come. Go to him. Yeah. Go to him. Toss the rice into I gotta try to do that. I gotta try to do that. This is so graceful. He like dancer. I mean, that's a like lot of hand dancer. eye coordination. All this tossing and he don't drop single grain of rice. That's not true. 
a grain of rice always falls out of the wok. It's good luck. That, <laughs> it's also <laughs> annoying to clean. It's good luck. Uncle Roger's so impressed. Cleaning? What's the last time you cleaned something? <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at you. He got me there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and he mentioned wok hey also. <gasps> This guy know everything. He like a god of egg fried rice. The biggest joy in life is seeing first child get born and Chef Wang making egg fried oh, rice. They're bonding. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> that his Auntie Helen. Oh, she's not waiting. Moment of truth. If you want to know if his fried rice let's could, see if she let's cracks just a see smile. what his uncle think. Because we all know middle-aged uncle. Don't boot you. <laughs> Oh, he's smiling. He's smiling. Yeah, that but I don't trust you know that smile. Fire. You and I know that could be a... <laughs> That's the smile before the smack? No, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a genuine smile. Look at that. Look at that. No. However, look at the terror in his eyes. <laughs> True. They got no chili chip. What? Fucked up. <laughs> wisdom. What of wisdom? I can tell you yeah, for- Yeah, the cold rice gives you that buffer. Yeah. You need that buffer zone to do really good fried rice. Right. Number one is it won't get as mushy easily because if it's already hot and sticky, the rice will stick together. But another thing is when it's cold, by the time you get the center hot, the outside has been charred more or less. Right. If you go on, go in with the hot rice. There's a lot of. It's been coated. Right. It's been seasoned. It's, a, it's and it's it is timing because there is a time limit on that too. Right. But don't forget, with hot rice, it's spewing out a lot of moisture, so it's hard to get that grain separation and that like wok hay evenly around the rice. Perfect. Perfect. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Uncle Roger a poof. He is Uncle Wang Gang now. This guy is king of wok hay and king of wasting his uncle water. It go to show all you need is passion for food and creepy uncle standing next to you. We all have that creepy uncle. All right, man. Consensus. That was, a, that was like soothing. Yeah. You know, that's like listening to a nice piece of music, you know, for us at right. least, right? Right, right. Like, like that's soothing. Like there's no other word than soothing. Like you show me such shows. It's inspiring. It's inspiring. Soothing and inspiring. Yeah, but it's a it change. All the show you've been showing. <laughs> that was kind of the point. You know? Dude. You know, funny enough, it was the audience, the comment section that wanted me to show you this video. Yeah. This particular one, Chef Wang Gong. As a, as, a, as a sign of kindness? No, just because we did the uh, Jamie Oliver Rice video, and then I was like, what should I have Frenchie react to next with me? And they were all saying the Wang, a lot of people said the Wang Gong video, but then I was like, you know what? I don't like Frenchie that much. I want to torture him a little bit more before. He has well, to earn Wang Gong. Well, you have. The, the preceding videos have tested my limits <laughs> all right guys well frenchy before we go let the audience know who you are and what you're about bonjour et au revoir mes amis that's a little french in there you gotta you know, spice it. You gotta judge it you know pepe le pew got canceled so i gotta make up for all his lack of appearances today was actually enjoyable you know it was soothing it was it was nice why don't you come and see me and maybe we can create some soothing food for you at lori vaj 340 West 46th Street, New York, New York. Come and see me, my lovelies. Before we close out this episode, I do want to say thank you to all of my amazing patrons. Guys, thank you so much for your support. And remember, for the rest of you, by becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes, uncensored extended versions of certain episodes, and most importantly, patron exclusive content. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. And remember, don't be afraid to fail because it can only make you stronger. And with that said, I am Chef Brian Sal. Chef Paul Donamiel. And we'll see you really soon. <laughs>